So recently there was a question about how to fill out a form that's a PDF uh, online using your computer. So not having to print it off, write it out with a pen, and then scan it back in. Because it kind of defeats the purpose of us using um, you know, Google Docs or using any of these technology tools that enable us to, to go more paperless. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now this is going to be on a Mac. Uh, it'll be a little bit different with a PC, but this one's only going to be for Macs that I'm going to show you now. Um, I'm using Google Chrome right here. You can see on your Mac next to the Apple. That tells you what program you're using. And, and um, since we're using uh, Drive and Docs and, and so forth, um, now this is going to be a PDF, but, but since we're using other Google tools, it's, it's usually best to use Chrome when you're uh, trying to do these things. So I've gone to the ESC's website. I've gone to Employees and Employee Forms, so you can see. Here we are. And the specific question was about the LPDC form, but this could be for anything. So we'll, we'll stick with the LPDC form for, for today. Uh, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to notice in this space here, you're, you're not going to be able to pop, you're not, you can't fill it out in this little square. So you're going to click on this pop up or pop out link, and it's going to show you the form in a much larger preview window. Now, that window is also not going to let you do anything. I can click, I can type, and it's just going to sit there. So you've got to go another direction with this. And so what we do is we go up here to the download button and we download this form and you'll see down here it will populate. Now the what would be intuitive would be that you just click on this and, um, and open it up. What happens if you just click directly on that is you just get another, you get another link up here in Chrome, you get another window with the same thing you just had over here. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to click on that down here at the bottom where it, where it would show that it downloaded. Instead, you want to go into just below that on the very left side, it should be your, your finder and into downloads. And there's the downloaded form. Your Mac is going to open this in a program called preview. It looks like this. It's got the like the photographs and a little magnifying glass, I guess. <clears throat> it's going to say preview up here. Now preview is really nice because you are able to, you can't change the text of the PDF. So I couldn't change the words here, but I can type on this. And so I put the, uh, this cursor, if you will, where I want to type and oh, learn this bell. Um, I can put my name there, or your name, of course, would go there. Now, if you don't want this to be in red, which would probably not be a good idea, uh, this tool up here, this uh, button is called Markup. This is a, on any uh, Apple device. That that is, so you may see this on your iPhone or your iPad that symbol, this button, is always means markup. Okay, now this is going to let me make some changes. So I can change under the text here, I can change the color to, we just want to make it black, I'm sure. And now I've made the text black. And that should then be my default for um, anything else. So as I go down through this form, I can type now, if, you know, this is kind of um, hovering. I can grab it and drag it down onto the lines because it does look a little weird. They're floating on the, on the space. And all I do is click on the text and move the cursor till I get right on the box. And when I see that hand, I can grab and drag. So when I'm finished with this, or when you're finished with this, you come up to File. And you're going to save this, and you're going to give it a different name. I've already saved this once. So um, if I push the Option button on your Mac. So I've, I've clicked on File. And this, actually, this, there's a lot of other things that this can do. Uh, I won't get into in this video. But when I have this button 
clicked. I'm not doing it now. I just I just pushed on file and this window dropped down. If I push the option button, which is next, it's bottom row on your keyboard, it's going to uncover some different options here. Okay. So I'm going to hold the option button down and click on save as. And now Now I can give it a different name than the one that I already had because LPDC formed is going to be the default for everybody. So, and then I would save this and then you would upload this to your drive or, um, you know, email it to somebody if that's what you want to do with this, whatever, whatever is required of you. So hopefully this wasn't too long, but hopefully this was informative and gave you an idea of how to um, edit or fill in uh, PDFs using your Mac. Um, for things in regards to filling out forms and so forth this way. Thanks a lot. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.